Um, the research project that we're doing is a collaboration between the University of Minnesota and McAllister College. We put in this grant to try to understand better the relationship between um, pollution, mainly in the form of sediment that comes into rivers, and the health of the rivers using mussels as a indicator of the health of the rivers. It's not just esoteric science. We're actually trying to help inform people and help learn about our natural, the landscape around us. And today we're at the Snake River, which is in the St. Croix watershed. Uh, the St. Croix River is a national wild and scenic river, so it's, it has quite a few protections on it and uh, tends to be a very pristine, lots of mussels here, good mussel habitat. So we're using that as sort of our reference site and seeing how things change here in a reference condition relative to how they might change on the Minnesota River. A lot of what we do is we kind of, you know, get to a site, put our, put our wetsuits on and get in the water and, uh, and we just search for mussels for a certain amount of time. And then, uh, then we sort them, uh, identify them, etc. Like, no visibility. <laughs> we had a huge rainstorm uh, about 24 hours ago. So when it rains in the landscape, right, a lot of water enters the rivers, and so the water level is much higher than it was when we were here uh, about a week ago. Um, and the other thing that happens is you get a lot more sediment in the river, and so the visibility was much lower. The current is higher, so it's harder to stay in one place. So you can't see the mussels very well. It made it a little more challenging. Lately, we've been uh, taking uh, sediment samples of different areas of the river um, where we've either found a lot of mussels or not very many. So we're looking to see is there a relationship between where the mussels are and what kind of sediment is where those mussels are. I think it helps show that there's certain environments that the mussels like to live in. So since there is a difference in like velocity, and it seems like there's less fine grain sediment and there's less mussels there that maybe there's between the two. We're going to be taking small tissue samples of these mussels and measuring glycogen. And glycogen is kind of like fat. So high glycogen means happy mussels, low glycogen means unhappy mussels. Um, so we're going to try to understand in not only the Snake River, but in three other rivers um, across Minnesota. Our hope is that it can ultimately help um, the state of Minnesota makes some decisions about what what's going on and how we might change what we're doing to the landscape. I'm learning a lot. That's really um, exciting for me, and I love it. And I think it's yeah. I think it just makes it so totally worth it.